Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Matic chart still hasn't given us any clear evidence that a low has formed. Instead, the price action is getting increasingly sloppy, choppy, overlapping, and it actually looks a bit like a bear flag here that's forming. Therefore, at least one more low seems to be something that we have to expect. Okay, so we cannot confirm at this stage that a low is in. We have the relevant support levels on the chart, micro support, the larger support area, the invalidation point, and they tell us when probabilities are shifting and starting to shift to something more bearish. Let's talk about this. So for now, um, we have seen here a potential five wave move up into the December highs. Then we had that pullback, what would be a wave W, X wave rally, Y wave down. You can interpret this in different ways. You could even put the wave one up here. Either way, it doesn't matter so much because we need to see a first reaction to the upside. Clearly, there's a local downtrend unfolding right now. And there is no evidence that this local downtrend is over. Any rally from here would need to be part of a correction or a diagonal at best. So the only way really in which Matic could have bottomed would be this diagonal pattern that we've been tracking. You see it on the one hour chart. Talked about that, but I also told you what we need to see in order to be able to confirm that the low is formed. That would be a five wave move to 91 cents. And the third wave, first of all, would need to reach 86. Now we haven't seen any of that. Um, instead, we've only seen a corrective rally in an ABC pattern and yeah, we haven't even we haven't even broken above the one to one ratio. So that hundred percent extension level, we call it one to one ratio, it's in the yellow count for such a C wave, actually an ideal target. So we haven't even broken above that, okay, or even touched that. So a lot of weakness. Um, therefore, no evidence at all that a low is in place. Mm, could still be the case, though. I mean, it's still possible, but we need to see from this nano support area a reaction and we need to see the price start a rally in the Z wave. I don't see any evidence for that other than a small green candle, but the last or the rally from the last low, which was formed yesterday, is only corrective. So it's only a three wave rally that could develop into something bigger. But for now, as I said it already in many videos today, it, it, it is most likely going to be a quiet Saturday. So far it is and has been a quiet Saturday. Um, but obviously levels are clear. I mean, this is a micro support area, nano support. So just the smallest support area you can really provide. There are reactions here and there, but now we need to see if the C wave rally to the upside can unfold. If it does, it should take us to 86 cents. Yeah. Especially if I consider the length of the A wave, I go to the low of the B wave. And typically we're looking for, yeah, again here, the one to one ratio. It would take us to 82 cents, can always go a bit higher. That would be sort of the first ideal target. But if I consider the larger degree and that this should be a third wave, ideally, we should see it get to um, 86. You know? So there is some confluence. Um, the C wave can always extend a bit. But yeah, I mean, there is no setup for it at the moment. There's no, no start. Okay, A, B structures are always unreliable. And even diagonals cannot be trusted until they are complete. And when they are complete, Okay, we've got the next one, two setup we can watch. For now, this is just the price range, just chopping around, mainly chopping sideways, really uneventful April and very frustrating as well, especially in a wave four. You know, we all know how boring wave four corrections are. And this is apparently a wave four if this yellow scenario is correct. Um, maybe something more bullish, but then again, this micro support area here is defined between 64.6 and 69.7 cents and we need to see a reaction in white wave C before a break occurs of that level of that range because if it does well we would first of all break below the trend line here that would not be a disaster I don't think trend lines are too reliable but um, it would yeah it would then obviously send us down most likely in wave five this um, it, it would just be too deep for a B wave you know, and that is okay. That's the ideal support. Yes. But the invalidation point is just below at 62 cents. So yeah, that's my update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content and please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.